Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, you're Paul Shreya. In this video, we're gonna be testing out three viral TikTok recipes. First up, we have is pancake cereal. And here's the TikTok we followed. So it just seemed like you just make your pancake batter and then you put little dots and then you cook them and you flip them and then you pour it into a bowl kind of thing. So we were like, okay, why not? So we started out making with our own pancake batter. So here's your classic recipe with flour sugar salt and baking soda remind you that this is just a single serving recipe and then you whisk it all together in a separate bowl add your milk egg so we tried to crack it but it didn't really work like it's really hard to film one-handed and then add your vanilla or any other flavorings you want you could add cinnamon whatever you want and then you whisk the wet ingredients together. Meanwhile, we, we were heating up the pan, so while this was happening, and now slowly we just added the wet to the dry and combine it all together. And then we poured it into a little squeezy bottle for easy, like, applic not application, but like, you know, putting it out. And again, in a pan, we like heated up some butter and like we spread it and then started with a round one of making our pancake cereal. So yeah, we tried our best to fill out the entire pan with little dots. We waited for like a minute or so, but you don't even have to wait. You can just flip them right away since they're so small. Since we didn't have much um, batter left, we made a second round. And then we went for the second round of making the cereal. Waited and then flipped them all again. And now we're transferring it into a little bowl. We topped off with maple syrup, adding milk to the pancakes seemed kind of disgusting so we didn't our rating for this recipe was a 7 out of 10 because well again we would make it if we had a lot of time but again it wasn't the practical way to make pancakes but you know it tasted the best but again it, maybe it's just my thought process that anything small is really good so yeah let's move on to our second recipe so our second recipe is dalgona coffee and here's the tiktok we followed so everything seemed pretty easy except for the fact that they used a electric mix to mix up the coffee we i don't have one so i just hand mixed them so we started with a long glass and added a tablespoon of coffee i'll talk about why i used a long glass because it helps with the mixing later and then we added water and then since they use sugar but i added honey just to spice things up and then vanilla for some flavoring oh my god and then we whisked again you have to whisk it properly if you have a tall glass it helps so yeah we whisked until the consistency was right and then i put it on a glass with milk i warmed up my milk because i do not like iced coffee and then i just popped on the iced whipped coffee on it we did have a little bit left over so we kind of made a second batch and here i was just mixing the coffee up to enjoy it so yeah the rating for this recipe is a 9 out of 10 except for the fact that we don't have a electric mix i would definitely do this again and yeah it took me about 10 to 15 minutes yeah definitely give this recipe a try it was really easy to make and it tasted pretty good last and final recipe i tested out was the famous viral egg sandwich so here's a tiktok we followed so yeah, um, it was pretty easy, and my dad always used to make this before even this got viral, so I kind of knew already to how to make it. But yeah, my dad d did add different things, but I tried to just stick to the recipe. Well, except for adding three eggs, that because that I felt like that was a lot. And then, you know, just heating it up, cooking the eggs, all that stuff. Again, like I said, I already know this how this kind of tastes, so because my dad always used to make it. He used to add like cheese and vegetables and like leftover whatever we had the last night before and everything. So yeah, now I'm just soaking up the, like flipping the bread over and like, you know, getting it all in the egg. And then now it's time to flip here. You can see that I did mess up, but you know, I just kind of moved it inside. And now I'll try to fold up the edges, you know, to make sure the egg doesn't go everywhere and now adding cheese from this point on you could add anything you want like meat or veggies or whatever and then you know close up the sandwich and cook it on both sides plate it and you know cut it in half and see how cheesy it is so this recipe was definitely 
not surprising like the other two ones but i did give this a try because it was really good again kind of bland maybe you could have added like some other different seasonings or add-ins but i can that would make it better but other than that it was okay so yeah give this a almost 6 5.5 out of 10 so that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next i am planning to do more recipe testing other than that make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i upload a new video other than that bye guys